Now in the last two parts of this question, we're given that the binomial expansion of this fraction here is identical to half plus 7x over 4 plus ax squared and so on. And what we've got to do is find the values of these two constants k and a. Now to do something like this, this is about comparing coefficients. I'll show you. What we do is we take this expression here, okay? Let's just put it down. 2 plus kx all divided by 2 minus 5x all squared. Now we can think of this as 2 plus kx multiplied by the 2 minus 5x to the power minus 2. Now we actually expanded this earlier. We found that this was exactly the same as this expansion. So what I can say is that this is identical to 2 plus kx then multiplied by the quarter plus 5 quarters x and so on. Quarter plus 5 quarters x plus 75 sixteenths x squared and so on. Okay. Now there's no need to fully expand this because what we can do is we know that this is meant to be identical to this expression up here. Let's just put that underneath. This is identical apparently then to a half plus 7 quarters x plus ax squared and so on. Now to get these values for k and a, to get k all I need to do is look at the coefficients of x, the values in front of x, and you can see that the final value is 7 quarters. But if we were to expand this looking for the coefficient of x, let's just put it down here. If we look at the coefficient of x, what are we going to get? Where are we going to get those x terms? Well, first of all, we'd want to multiply through by the 2 we'll get an x term when we do 2 times the 5 quarters. So 2 times 5 quarters would be 10 quarters. We'd also get an x term when we go on to multiply the kx with the quarter. So you get a k times a quarter, k over 4. k over 4, that would be an x term. And we know that this must now come to 7 quarters. So this equals 7 quarters. So if we were to multiply through, let's just come down through here. If we were to multiply both sides by 4, we would end up with 10 plus k equals 7. And clearly if we take 10 from both sides, k would be equal to 7 take 10, which is minus 3. So there's your first value. Now to get the value of a, this is a coefficient of x squared, so I'd want to look at the coefficients this time of x squared. Let's just put that there, coefficients of x squared. So what have we got? Well if we start again with the 2, 2 would be multiplied by the 75 sixteenths to give us to give us 150 over 16, or you could cancel it down to 75 over 8. 75 over 8 x squared. We'd also get an x squared term when we multiply the k x with the 5 quarters x. So we're going to get 5k over 4 for that part. So 5k over 4. And that's all we're going to have for the x squared terms, so it's going to be equal to the coefficient of x squared here, which is a. Now we've already found out that k equals minus 3, so if we sub that in, we've got therefore 75 over 8. 
and we've got now minus 15 quarters minus 15 quarters equals a and if you do 75 eighths minus 15 quarters the equivalent of 30 eighths you're going to end up with a equaling 45 over 8 okay so your value of k is minus 3 and your value of a is now 45 eighths okay